Hidden Object Guru here, back for more Forgotten Places Regained Castle. Uh, when last we checked in, I have no memory of the plot of this game. I think there was, like, a murdered grandpa? It's been a few months, everybody. Blake Wilmore conquers, a conquers Asia? That seems... Uh, I, that is a good idea, Wonder Girl. Putting together a document just of the games people recommend. Also, I keep p telling people to put recommend their games in the comments under videos. That way, it'll always be there. But, uh, but And that's the thing. Detective Assassin did, which is why I'm going to be able to go and get a copy of that game tonight. Uh, but like, Wilmore is, was knighted for his success in establishing new diplomatic and trade relationships. So he didn't really conquer Asia so much as just went there and offered a place to sell some, like, spices. Okay. All right. Uh, what have we got here? It looks like there should be one more fawn statue here. Is that a statue of a fawn? Okay, I see that that's a fawn. It didn't look quite like one to me, but, you know, now I get it. All right, so now we've got... A, I can heat something up on this fender. Is that a fender? I would have called that a grate. Huh. Okay, let's open up the map, see where we're supposed to go now. Places, but where I am now and places of quest. By the way, I know that, you know, I talk about this all the time, so it's almost not worth mentioning, but this is a, like... Object games have such gorgeous maps. Look at this thing. Well, I mean, how else are you going to get them to uh, Castle Gatehouse Package? All right. I will move to that pass package. Passage. How else are you going to, you know, get them on board with you unless you get them all addicted to opium? Wait a minute. That's the worst thing in the world to say. Such a gorgeous map. All right, so show second floor. You click there, you click there. Oh, Dolce & Gabbana did it. Wow. Those guys are suckers. Racist suckers. This is poison ivy. You better not shoot it with bare hands. Well, I have a plate. I'm sure that's useful. Oh, we have to drag items in this game. There's no clicking on them. Seriously, I have no way from memory of where we were in the game. Alright, so you go back, then you... But if you're just going to a new location, why did you want us to come here? Why didn't you just tell us to go to the new location? I agree. Forward. Yeah, it's a really good looking map. I concur. I should contact the developers to see if they'll send me a high-resolution copy of it to use in a soundtrack video. Okay, well, I will have to do something with that tree. Maybe get a saw. Let's do it! Is the ladder broken or something? Like, why are we not doing that already? Oh, okay. Well, I will find some gloves or pliers. What the hell? Oh, apparently I've been supposed to be clicking on butterflies this whole time. So let's just head back to see if there's a butterfly for us to click on. There definitely is. It's literally right there. That wasn't hard at all. Oh. Alright. Uh, let's check out this. Yeah, these butterflies, they don't, make, they don't make them hard to find. This ink smoke is kind of trying to scare me, but at the same time it does not make any attempts at harming me. What is it? Um, possibly... Just go on a limb here. It's the ghost of, like, a guy who was born 4,000 years ago on, like, an island somewhere in the Pacific. And uh, his brother murdered him, and it turned him into, like, a creature made out of black smoke. That's my theory for what that ink was. Spoilers for Lost, by the way. Uh, feather, saber, sickle. Feather, saber, sickle. I don't see the feather. Uh, no, that's an axe, not a sickle. 
<sighs> Pardon me. Jug. Oh, that was the saber. And that was the fan. I would thought that was the jug and I was wrong. It's a crown. But I got two other items. The jug's over there. Uh, Wait, did I not get the fan? No, that's the fan. Weird. So I just knocked something out of the way? Sickle! Uh, so, if people can answer me a quiz question... I was asked a trivia question via email by someone who thought I might have expertise in obscure games. And that's not a bad guess, but I wasn't able to help this person. Uh, well, do I have anything planned for this holiday season? Yes. Uh, hidden object Christmas games and nothing but. I've stocked up on a bunch of hidden object Christmas games, so we're going to play them this Christmas. It's going to be pretty exciting. And uh, hopefully we can find some other Christmassy games to play. Uh, obviously, there are plenty of hidden object Christmas games, but there are less Christmas games in other genres. Like, for example, if I wanted to play, like, some Match 3 games, I could get Christmas Match 3 games. And I actually already have a Christmas Mosaics game. Although, I gotta say, like, the framing device is Christmas-themed. Like, every different mosaic you do represents a ball on a uh, Christmas tree. Or, like, a light on a Christmas tree or something. But the actual puzzles themselves are just random mosaics. They have nothing to do with Christmas. To an extent that it's kind of disappointing. Uh, where the hell is this boot? To use the uh, vernacular, what's it all a boot? See, I'm referencing... Uh, Ah, oh, there it is. That blended in really well. <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. Well, I mean, I've got a... Um, what do you call it back? I've got my um, uh, new PlayStation 4 so I can play Horizon again. So that'd be nice. Uh, what I'm really excited about, though, is uh, getting back um, Just Cause 4 coming out. I'm pretty sure there's going to be... Wait, do we not automatically leave the screen when we've completed the hidden object scene? That's weird, right? Death Road to Canada. What could be more Christmassy than that? Wait, is Santa in that game? I feel like Santa's in that game. Was I not told Santa was in that game? Okay, the Living Labyrinth. Hey, didn't we just have some Poison Ivy to deal with? And it was like, better not touch the Poison Ivy. Or bad things will happen. And I just found a sickle, so that should do with the, uh, deal with the poison ivy, right? We will try and think of some holiday games. Uh, there's gotta be a few, right? Alright, so where was the poison ivy? Uh, here, here, here. Like, I'm not going crazy. We just had some poison ivy, right? You know, I might do the viscera cleanup detail, uh, poison ivy, uh, poison ivy, the, the DLC for that because I I mean I've been open about my love for Viscera cleanup detail about how I think that if those guys would just Gavin is that you? Who's Gavin though? Again when you don't play a game for a few months it's easy to lose track of things. This is a Celtic cross the center element is missing. Is that the plate I've been carrying around? Probably not. Yeah. That, those guys would just get off their asses and make a version of that game that had, like, a good front end that made the game playable. They would have, a like, a real winner on their hands that could... I'm not going to say it's going to be a million seller. I, I think it's a stretch to interpret it that way, that it's ever going to be, like, a giant mainstream hit. But I think that game could really find an audience if it didn't make it, if it wasn't so actively hostile to the people trying to play it. Were you having a rough match? This looks raw at locked send keep away in one of the visitors. Looks like something needs to be inserted into its mouth. Oh, so I need like a, a knocker or some such? How about we insert this? Smashing you with a hammer! What's that? That doesn't... Not, not how that works? Oh, okay. No! I thought you were an IS-2. Shouldn't that wipe out a Churchill pretty quickly? Alright. 
Can I open that door? No! Ooh! Move away and said the wheel needs to be fixed first. Alright, first though, we need to find the Butterfree on the screen. So here, Butterfree, Butter... Well, let's do the hidden object scene first. Broom! Wheels! Do I need a sword? No. Alright. Let's focus up. Um, difficult reference? What do you mean difficult reference? Did I mention something earlier? Uh, vile grindstone stirrups. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. See, those, they said those were stirrups. I thought those looked more like shackles. Oof. What's the re reload time in your IS2, if I may ask? I don't see another horseshoe. Oh, I randomly clicked and that was the horseshoe. This game has some very dim screens where it's very hard to see items. We'll say that. Uh, okay, so I need broom, coals, so two grindstones. Oh, I've been looking for grindstones. Those are not hard to find. Uh, they have to be fairly large because they're grindstones. There we go. So I need a vial and a broom. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I forgot the, the reference. Yes. Uh, no, they were looking for... Thank you. I was going to ask you all to help me with that. Thank you for reminding me. I get distracted a little too easily. Uh, that's not a vial. That looks more like a, just a, like a potion bottle. Like, don't vials have to be straight? You know what? I'm not getting distracted again. It was a game in which a witch, it was like a, an RPG, and a witch had a, uh, super attack where she would turn a creature, like an, an item it was fighting, uh, that she was fight an item, an enemy she was fighting into like a small animal like a snail or a, a mouse oh that was the butterfly or um a snake or something and then step on it and that was her super attack and i'm like that does not ring a bell for me but i will put it out to the crowd and see if anyone comes up with it Ooh, 25 second reload the ring must be in the mouth gotcha So does that mean I'm not supposed to put a door knocker in the other one's mouth? Or am I going to find two door knockers? Or do I get to use the same door knocker twice? It's definitely not that. Like, that is definitely not the solution. I gotta say, I'm not going to say it's too many, but it is weird how many different rooms I have access to at once in this game. This well has apparently not been used for many years. It would be interesting to peek inside us and see how deep it is. Sure. Let's use these tongs to pull out the nails to give me access to the thing. And There we go. I just realized I can skip reading that. since It's not like she's doing voice acting. It does, but I don't think... Was Bayonetta ever in a third-person shooter? Not third-person shooter. Jesus. Uh, a regular turn-based RPG? Of course she's in a third-person shooter. Her game is a third-person shooter. Well, and Kung Fu. I'm still shocked. How? How could this happen? Jack was such a calm and thoughtful boy. It would never play. He would never play. Nest near... What? Next to the well. Wow. Especially since it was strictly forbidden and still, still... Oh, why was there no one who fell? So he was thrown down the well, obviously. Oh, I could have just read the <laughs> the text version of that. I didn't have to struggle with the uh, reading. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Okay. What's down the well? Well, it's totally dry. There's something at the bottom. I could try and climb down, but I need a rope. Yeah, what's down at the bottom is Jack's corpse. That's obviously Jack's corpse right there. It's very creepy. 
All right. Okay. Oh, wait. Does that count as a new screen for purposes of me having to find a butterfly? It does. There's one butterfly in every screen in the game. And I'm going to be very annoyed with myself if I missed one, like, right at the beginning of the game. And we so decidedly... We're so decidedly careful as to grab all of the other ones in the game. Pruning shoes is not the best means for door breaking. I agree with that, lady. Well observed. Do I get to keep those? I do! Nice. Hey, Toadly! What's up? You're a Toadly nice fellow. Ha-ha! That's not clever. How about this part of a statue? Yeah, that seemed a bit of a stretch. So I need to find, like, a rock to smash against it. What the hell? Part of Armory Knocker. That's something that would be easy to miss. Okay. Oh, kitten. The kitten meows when you click on him. Oh. No! Stop running away! That's true. Gavin is too old for such tricks. Uh, butterfly! Oh, a cow's not meowing? Oh, no, there he goes. Right, what was this? I don't understand why Blake's great-grandfather so often accused of a deal of an evil spirit. Yes, he was lucky. Devil in business. Well, he did sell opium to China, which is the kind of thing a devil would do. So, there's that. I know that was just from the comment section, but I think it's true. Alright, we'll go look for that. Oh... Hey, I found a second plate! Was there like a... Like a display of plates I needed to play with somewhere? Hmm. Is there really nothing else to click on on this screen? Weird. Alright, map. Where should I go now? I'm gonna go back there to the labyrinth entrance. Cool. Alright, what can I do here? Uh, I still have to clean that, but I don't think I have any tools to clean that with. Okay, I want to use a for some pick one of them. Oh! Devilish. But there's not like a hidden butterfly on this screen, because this is actually a puzzle screen. Wait, there's nothing I can do here. Why'd you want me to go here? Oh, okay. The thing said there was something I could do here. Let's just use the tongs to pull out the glass and see what happens there. I probably should have done that ages ago, but, you know. They're making me watch all of it. Maybe we shouldn't have put eight planes on this window. No, they'll love it. They will love watching that. I can confirm that they will love watching that. What a remarkable observatory. Oh. Well, telescopes are the best. Although I can no longer use that as a quiz because now it's been found out. Bravo again, Hans. Oh, hello. Yes, I would just have to find them out. Oh, my beloved telescope. All right. Um, okay, I need three missing bottles to spell a word to get that. Hmm. I don't know if you should be that focused on looking at the stars right now. I feel like you have more important things to worry about. Maybe. Just putting that out there. Alright. Alright, where are we going here? Oh! Want me to do something with it? Oh, it's the bell! I didn't notice that at all. Here's the thing about this game, right? And I don't want this to be called, you know, an extreme form of judgment or anything like that, but all of this game's screens are so cluttered, and I think the developers aren't fantastic at making it clear what you're able to click on. Does that make sense? Like, they haven't made it super clear 
where you're... No, that's not the door that had the bell on it. Where, where, which door needed a bell? Like, developers generally use visual tricks to draw your eye to the thing you're supposed to interact with. Or just sometimes put on a sparkle, because sparkles are cute. But this game is not really stellar at making it clear which part of the screen you're supposed to be interacting with. Oh, okay. Ugh, I keep thinking I can just click on stuff rather than having to drag it. It That's completely accurate, yes. Well, and put the pin back in, but okay. I'm just saying, it's not just one step, and I shouldn't have gotten rid of the hammer before returning the pin, but, you know. Ugh, who am I to judge? So, please direct me to where that door was. Was it here at the well? Probably not. Nope. Although you're telling me there's something I can do here at the well. Uh, which I'm not seeing. Oh, there was an extra wheel. Wow. You see what I mean about how that felt a lot like part of the background? Oh, here's where the bell goes. Well, I found this one on my own. I had to zoom in first. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, good. Magic opened the door. Or ghosts. Or a murderer hiding behind the door. No one worried about the potential murderer hiding behind the door? Uh, all right, butterfly, where are you? Ah, there you are. You're well hidden than most butter... Better hidden than most of the butterflies in this game. Yay, a pestle! Can I have a mortar, please? Rotting cheese! Yay? I go with yay, but I don't know if I mean it. Can I bake some bread? Oh, what if I use these garden shears? All right, well, first off, that would have worked. I just did not think it through at all. All right, let's do this. Okay. Oh, you're saying there's more to do here. All right. So I need something to pull that out. It's not part of the armory knocker. Not a statue part. Can you drag the cloth or the lamp or the oven or the shears? Oh, wait. Angel? No. Can't interact with the cherub. What do you think I can do here, game? Oh, this random basket I was supposed to click on. Gotcha. Oh, nice. One of the bottles. <laughs> Or possibly, uh, start opening the door quietly, then shove it really hard to catch the person behind the door unawares. Alright. So that they can't, like, stab you with a sword through the door. As is, uh... As so often happens to people in fiction. Why, well, I can think of one famous time someone got stabbed through the door in a comic book. That, uh, made things go much worse for everyone. Yeah, so why didn't I keep the pin? Oh, now I gotta go find a pin? Are you kidding me? What about the one I used earlier? Can you name the comic book where someone, uh, got stabbed through a door? Uh, making everyone's lives worse? If you're the first commenter below the video, well, at least the main character's life worse. Just the main character's life. Uh, and she did not get stabbed through the door. Be the first commenter below the video to mention that comic book. And yes, you will win a prize. Just pop in the time code for where in this video I asked the quiz question with your answer. So I can check it later. Aww. That's so nice. Butterfly! There you go. Seems like it would be terrible to uh, open doors if you constantly thought the uh, there was going to be something behind it. That would be a nightmare without end. Two apples! A glove! I need two feathers. One. Two. I need a rope. There we go. 
Okay, I just want to make it clear that they asked me for a rope and I'm clicking on a coil of rope. I'm not saying there won't be. Okay, there is a second coil of rope in the game. But here at the top right of the screen, next to the back arrow, that's a coil of rope. This just happens to be a second coil of rope. They didn't realize there was already a coil of rope on the screen when they added another coil of rope to click on. Come on, guys. Get it together. Frog! Oh, there he is. Four! You know what? Bellowing these things isn't going to help me find them. Finding them is going to help me find them. Uh, paying attention and not screwing around with, you know, gimmickry. Uh, brush! Do I need a mirror? I don't. I do need a necklace, though. So I need two bells and a brush. Two bells and one brush. Huh? Well, what have we here? No bells and no brushes. Fascinating and logical, too. Okay. Nope. Ah, that's a bell. Alright, come on, brush. Seriously, though, where is this brush? All right, well, let's take 10 seconds to just look around the screen. Then we're going to ask for the brush, because I am not emotionally invested in finishing this game's screens fairly the way I get with more story-intensive games. But, uh, so we're just going to... 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... I got nothing. All right, hit me. I honestly did not see that that was a brush. Like, I get it now. Oh, well, apparently you found it. Although I don't actually see the watering can. No, uh, the watering can's way over there. That was not a brush, whatever you meant. I, I don't know what you meant. But yeah, that apparently was not a brush. Uh, so I got the rope. Now I can climb down into the well and find Jack's body. You know, he's called Jack because of that whole fetch a pail of water nonsense. I'm not happy about it either, but here we are. Yeah, I got a rope. Alright. I never went down a well before. I feel like Alice falls the white rabbit into its soul. She descends slowly. Descend slowly so as not to fall. Okay. I will. I don't understand the organ music, but okay. Well, I think brushes have evolved to do very well in their surroundings. Plus, they tend to stick to a pretty restricted climate. So that's one, uh, two, one, four, one, four, three. I probably should have said A or B along with that so as to not miss it. All right, here we go. Definitely screwing this one up. Three, three, one, two, two, four, one. Ah. <sighs> Three, three, one, two, two, four, one. Da -da 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 -da. Can I not have the? Is that a killer snake with the red and gold bands on it? Looks like a killer snake to me. Doo, doo, doo. Hey, I found another portrait! I'm ready for the portrait puzzle. Whatever the hell that is. Doo, 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 doo. Now, do, I don't have the tools for this, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. Let's go do that. Yes, portraits! Or portraits, if you prefer.
Well, that was easy. Thank you. Is the rest of the door knocker? Yes! Oh, we've got the rest of the door knocker, everybody. <laughs> Maybe a little. Well, Takata and Fugue in D minor, really. It's just that was prominently used in Phantom of the Opera. Such a rockin' beat. Smithies, the... It would make sense that the smithy would be next to the armory, right? Oh god, I keep thinking I can click. Just because every other hidden object game works that way. Ah! There was like a midget. I thought there was some sort of a crazed dwarf armor suit there. But it was just, you know, force perspective. Uh, I don't know that this is enough for a small army. It's just not that much armor. Plenty of swords, though. You are right about that. So where would a butterfly hide in this room? I will remember that. There's literally a ladder right there. Moving the ladder set off the cannon? What? Uh, seriously, where's the butterfly? Oh. Oh, that's cute. You can't fault this game for not having enough uh, hidden object screens. I'll say that. Jester's cap. Knight leg armor. Chessboard. Oh, there it is. I accidentally clicked on another thing I needed while I was clicking on it. There's the bugle, scroll, yep. Flower. Do not see the flower yet. Uh, quiver, boot, statuette, crown. Quiver, boot, statuette, crown. Is that the statuette? It is. Oh, because it's a female statue. I get it. That's not what that meant, but I thought it would be funny. And I think I was close to right. This game does a lot of things where there'll be like three items right on top of each other. It's very strange. Oh, it's a picture of a flower. Oh, nice. Alright, uh, so why did I need night leg armor? Was there a statue I had to put back together or something like that? Is that Has that been a thing in this game? And I just forgot about it? Like, I forgot about literally every other part of this game. Alright, so you think there's something else for me to do here. I would love to help. I have a pestle. Do you need to be pestled? So it's like, pester, like pestered, but pestled? Yeah, that didn't really work as a bit. Honestly, it wasn't really a bit by any sane person's assessment. And so I can't do anything with this yet, because I don't have the other sword. Can't do anything with the cannon, even though we've just literally went off a second ago. Yes! A mace! Finally! Now I can crush the skull of that evil ice goblin that was menacing me earlier. I'm pretending this is a more interesting story than it actually is. I missed a plot thing. Uh, during the last days of his life, Blake Wilmore surrounded himself by a large number of bodyguards. I think with... A lot. You know what? Some of them followed him everywhere he went in public. and his castle, he maintained a small garrison. But these security measures proved meaningless and useless. Blake died under very strange circumstances. He was probably killed by a member of his guard who was ordered by Stalin to do it. And that's a reference to the death of Trotsky. A completely inaccurate reference to the death of Trotsky. Okay. What was I supposed to be doing in the bakery? Oh, right, I needed a thing to grab that. Oh, now there's a hidden object scene in the bakery. Did we not just do a hidden object scene in the bakery? No, we did not. Wow, this is totally new. Pencil. Clover. Corn cob. Hourglass. Uh, corn cob. Yep, hourglass is there. Pomegranate. Crocodilio. Um, probably a picture of a crocodile, right? Or like a... Yeah, picture of a crocodile. Uh, key, feather. But wait. What if I can only find an unimportant feather? Ha-ha! 
Ugh. Terrible, terrible jokes. Clock face. Moose trap. If you know why I call it the Moose Trap, and you're the first commenter below the video to mention it, uh, you will win a prize. Just put in the time code for where in the video I uh, made that reference. That's right, it's a reference to something. And you will win a prize. I can't carry any more objects with me? What? I have a maximum inventory size?! That's the first time that's ever happened in a hidden object game. Like, literally, the first time that's ever happened to me. Wow. Yeah, she kind of really went, I did not break it, just finished with someone else started. You, you did break it. Yeah, that's why it took you eight swipes with a mace to open it. Because it was already basically open. Yeah, that's true. That makes perfect sense. Thank you, Butterfree. Alright. <laughs> the hell? Uh, can we go back to the bakery now and get that item? That's so weird. Alright, tell me where to go uh, to use the moose trap so I can find things. I could use this juice press, but I need to repair it first. With what? May I ask? Um, oh, there's another story thing. Gavin, if you wonder about the bottle of that splendid Bordeaux collection, it is in the billiard room I hid in the safe. So, 35, 50, 25, 70, 45. Okay. Not a problem. Just have to head on over there. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. I was wrong. The collection missing one bottle of... in some order. Okay, well then... Why did you let me come in here? Why did you direct me to come in there if I couldn't do the puzzle yet? See the logic problem we're having? Uh, okay. Yes. That's right, it's another hidden object puzzle. Because again, they're not stingy. Alright, so if you were a toad, where would you be? Alright, another bird. I need a poker. Sun ring. Sundial? No, okay. There's the knight. Where's the knife? Okay. Oh, is it a toad? Looked more like a toad than a frog to me. That's why I didn't click it on it in the first place. He lied, really obviously. Lizard! If I were a lizard, where would I be? Nope. So we're seeing that poker made me thinking about the uh, the stairwell. The amazing documentary series about a man who was framed by murder for some cops and then by some for murder by some cops and then uh, you know no matter how much evidence comes out that he obviously didn't do it, they never admit they were wrong. I think that's what makes wrongfully accused uh, like documentaries and things uh, just. All the documentaries I keep watching about wrongfully accused people so frustrating is that none of the cops will ever admit they were wrong because a lawyer will say if they admitted they were wrong they could be sued personally. So they just never do it. And it really troubles me. Oh, okay. I have no lead on this lizard. Come on, Hoguru. If you find one of these two items, you're allowed to use a uh, hint for the other one. So just find one. Thank you. Ring, please, hint button. Ring. Oh, okay. You see why I thought that over there was a ring, though, right? The thing that's like a pearl button. And again, I can't carry any more objects with me. How do I get rid of some objects, game? I seem to be in something of a bind. Can I use this to the garden shears to fix the... No? Pestle? I mean, why would a pestle fix a juice press? I don't know, but... 
I need to get rid of an item from my inventory, apparently. Sure, let's go to the stable. Oh, okay. So I put down the mousetrap. Put down the cheese. Why did I bother with the mouse trap then? Why didn't I just take the you know what? I don't know why I'm questioning this. This should not questioning this it's it's gonna accomplish nothing. There's no reason to question this. Just accept it and move on. There's more to, Oh, it's this satchel. For some reason I thought the satchel was in another room. Okay. Oof. I seem to have nixoned myself pretty severely. Mmm. Nope, that's going to close me off pretty hard. That would have to be the last one I get. Damn it! Wow, I'm bad at this, huh? Skip. I mean, I will skip it in a minute, obviously. I'm not crazy. It's late at night. Oh, I see. Oh, thank you for filling up, button. I'm seriously going to skip you. I don't know if anybody else watches that Seth Meyers show, but I'm... Always blown away when Seth Meyers' family comes on the show. And it's uncanny the way his bro his younger brother is just a handsome version of him. I just find it weird. I like they look uncannily similar. I can't believe you're making me watch this. Thanks, I guess. I'm kidding, I don't mean thanks. That would have taken me a while, huh? Yay, what have we got? A telescope tube. Yay, let's fix up that telescope. Damn right he is. Damn, he tried to steal the telescope part. Not cool, Chico, not cool at all. Is this the telescope? Yes. Even though... Now, here's the weird part. Does this work? Yeah, I know something's missing. That's why I'm trying to put it back on. So, even though I could currently go here and use an item, the game didn't show there being a hand there. Oh, wait. Maybe the hand was on the second level. That, that could be it. That's too bad, Maddie. To use the vernacular, quel dommage. Oh, hey! The suit of armor! Now I just need a helmet and an arm, and I'm done. Yay! Alright. So, we've cleared out our inventory a bit. I think that makes it... Oh, there's more to do here? Really? What? Oh, I can melt the gl uh, gluten? Huh, I would not have thought of that. As I was saying, I've been the hidden object guru, deciding this is a perfect place to... Uh... Oh, does Netflix have an app on the PC? I mean, no, I think you just use a... I mean, I've never tried. I just go there using, like, Chrome. I just navigate to Netflix and watch movies. 
Anyway, as I was saying, um, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons coming up. Questions, suggestions, quiz answers, go in the comments section below the video. If you'd like to be here for the live stream where people play, uh, people join me for games like this, and uh, as you can see, help me find the various hidden objects. Oh, sorry, Habana. Uh, absolutely check out the Discord channel. That's where I announce them. I will see you back here for more of this game whose title I definitely remember. Lost Regained Castle something? No, uh, Forgotten Places Regained Castle. Yes! Boom! Uh, should not be that proud of myself for remembering the name of the game I'm currently playing. Anyway, like I said, I'll see you back here for more, but until then, au revoir.